Hello friends, you are watching This is Awesome Videos and today we are going to solve some past year JW problems. Okay, so today we are going to solve some JW Advanced 2030 papers problem. Okay, so let's get started. So this is the first one, this is from the sequence and series and limit combinedly. Now what they say for A belongs to R, the set of all real numbers. We all know that R is the set of real numbers. A not equal to minus 1. Limit n tends to infinite. 1 raised to a plus 2 raised to a plus up to, up to n raised to a upon n plus 1 all raised to a minus 1 into n a plus 1 n a plus 2 plus up to, up to n a plus n is equal to 1 by 60. Then a is equal to what? Now see this type of question we saw in JW mains paper also. See at that time i also tell you how to convert the limit into the particular integration because integration is uh, nothing but the summation we can say that integration is nothing but the summation so here we all have, what we do we just have to convert the given summation in the form of integration because it easy to solve the integration uh, compare with the summation okay so here we have n tends to infinite now please remember uh, the topic lecture of limits at that time i tell you whenever the n tends to infinite comes we have to convert all the equation into the 1 by n form because 1 by n tends to 0 uh, 1 by n if n tends to infinite then 1 by n tends to 0 okay so that's why we have to convert it in the 1 by n form so let's solve this so here we have let's say we have l is equal to limit n tends to infinite 1 is to a plus 2 is to a plus up to 2 plus n is to a upon n plus 1 whole is to a minus 1 n a plus 1 n a plus 2 to n plus n now see here for converting it into the 1 by n form let's take n is to a common first of all so what we have we have 1 by n is to a plus 2 by n is to a plus up to 2 n by n is to a okay so now here this is n plus 1 whole rest to a minus 1 as it is now see n a n a n a n a how many times n times that means n into n a that means n square a okay so first term is n square a then second term 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to, up to n that means the summation of the n numbers that means n into n plus 1 by 2 so this is a very basic formula Still, those students who don't know that, please go to the topic uh, lecture of sequence and series. At that time, I got covered the, all the formulas. Okay. Now, now this is the time to convert this thing into the limit. Then, how we are going to do do that? So, first of all, this thing can be written as sigma r is equals to one to n r by n whole is to a. This is the common form of this thing. If we put r here, then r is equal to 1 here, then we have this term, if 2 then this, if n then this. And for dx, just multiply n and divide it by n. So I just multiply n and divide it by n. And this is sigma r is equal to 1 to n, r by n whole is 2. Now this form, we solved minimum uh, 2 to 3 example based on this sum, how to convert a summation into the integration. Uh, at that time also I tell you, let's suppose r divided by n is equals to x. What we have to take? We have to take r by n is equals to x. So, we have r by n is equals to x. Now, if r by n is equals to x, and so 1 by n dr is equals to dx. So, this 1 by n into dr becomes dx r by n is equals to a so we have r by n is equal to x sorry so we have x raised to a here we have dx here this n raised to a this n raised to a here okay and this n and this n gets cancelled out so we left with n a plus n plus 1 by 2 here uh, and this term as it is understood now the main topic I, I told you earlier in the videos that the main thing is to convert the limits. Now for that, just take r is equal to one here. So we have r is equal to one here. 
If we put one here, then we will have 1 by n. Now, we all know that n tends to infinite. So, what, what is the value of 1 by n? If n tends to infinite, then 1 by n tends to 0. So, for lower value of r is equals to 1, we have the value 0 here. Now, put upper limit. Upper limit is r is equal to n. If r is equal to n, then n gets cancelled out. Then x is equal to 1. So, the upper limit is 1. So, we have integration 0 to 1, x to a dx. Now, this best summation is converted into this simple integration. Okay? Now, what we have to do? We have to just simplify this and get the answer. Now, see, uh, it's n is to a, n plus 1 is to a minus 1. Okay? For uh, whenever it it is n tends to infinite, we have to convert it in 1 upon n form. So, I just do that. See, uh, 1 by n, sigma r is equal to 1 to n, r by n a uh, is equal to 0 to 1 x s to a dx, as I explained. So, now it l becomes limit n is to infinite, n is to a, n plus 1 is to a minus 1. Now, for this, we have this, uh, we all know that the integration, what is the integration? It is x, x s to a is integration, x s to a plus 1. divided by a plus 1 okay divided by a plus 1 we all know that this is a very basic thing x is to a plus 1 divided by a plus 1 and now upper minus lower if i put 1 then 1 raised to something that is 1 so 1 upon a plus 1 minus lower that is 0 0 raised to something that is 0 so it becomes 1 upon a plus 1 here okay understood n a plus n plus 1 by 2 as it is now this n a now divide this th this both the terms by n a so it becomes one here. If I divide by n a here, okay, n is to a here. Then what it becomes? It becomes n is to a. I, I am going to divide it by n is to a here. So it becomes one plus one by n whole is to a minus one. And here, if I divide it by n, okay. So here I am going to divide it by in this term, this n a. I am going to divide it by this term by n a and again in this in the denominator for this I am giving n raised to a minus 1 I am dividing by n raised to a minus 1 please please carefully understood this for this term I am going to divide it by n raised to a minus 1 and for this I am going to divide it by n so n raised to a minus 1 and n that is n raised to a so denominator and numerator gets cancelled out okay so this becomes one here if i divide it by n is to a minus one then n plus one upon n whole is to a minus one okay so this becomes one plus one by n whole is to a minus one now this n divides here so it becomes a then if n divides here then it becomes one by two and if here then it becomes plus one by two n okay now this is my final term now I just have to apply the limit because all the terms are converting into the 1 by n form okay now I just have to apply the limits okay so 1 by n tends to infinite 1 by n tends to 0 so this term becomes 0 1 raised to something that is 1 then 1 upon a plus 1 as it is a plus 1 by 2 as it is 1 upon n 0 so this also becomes 0 so we left with 1 upon a plus 1 and a plus 1 by 2 so I just simplify here it uh, 2 as LCM so 2a plus 1 and 2 goes upper in the numerator so we left with 2 upon a plus 1 into 2a plus 1 so this is my limiting value this is my limiting value and it is given that it is equals to 1 by 60 here in the question it is given that it is equals to 1 by 60 so just equate this as 1 by 60 and so a plus 1 into 2a plus 1 is equals to 120 so 2a square plus 3a minus 119 is equal to 0 it's just multiply uh, i just multiply this and make a quadratic equation now we just have to solve it we all know that how to how we are going to solve this it's a very easy thing so i'm not going on that so a is equal to 7 and a is equal to minus 17 by 2 is my answer this is a c uh, this is a multiple choice question so we have two answers 7 and minus 17 by 2 b and d both are my right option b and d okay so this is a very good sum so please uh, solve this type of sum where you have to convert a uh, summation into the particular integration see all the past year jw means solved uh, video uh, on 
that I also solve this type of question. We solve two to three questions of the same type. Okay, it is going to help you a lot. Now this is from the circle connex circles touching x axis at a distance three from the origin. It touches x axis at the three from the origin and having an intercept length two root seven on y axis r. Okay, now. Those student, please remember all the formulas. I told you at that time the each and every simple formula is important. Here they have given the value of intercept on the y-axis. In the topic lecture of circle, we I, I explained the formula for intercepts on x and y-axis respectively. For y-axis, the formula is 2 square root of f square minus c, and that formula we are going to use in this. But first of all, in conics, the most important thing, as I told you earlier, it is to draw a perfect figure so let's draw it what they say it's a circle touch the x-axis at a distance 3 from the origin so at the distance of 3 from the origin okay. and let's say this, this is the alpha this is the y coordinate and from the origin it touches the x-axis at 3 so this point this a point what is a point please tell me it is 3 comma what 0 because it is on x axis so it is 3 comma 0 a point we all know that now for the center the point uh, the x coordinate is same and what is that that is 3 3 is my x coordinate and what is y coordinate for circle it is alpha we assume that we take an assumption that the y coordinate is alpha and that is equals to the radius because we all know that when a circle touches the x axis the mode of y coordinate becomes radius and if the circle touches y axis the mode of x coordinate becomes the radius so here we know that the center we know where it touches the axis now we have to just apply a simple theorem first of all they tell us that the y intercept is what the y intercept is 2 root 7 so we have to apply the, that formula so circle becomes 3 comma alpha okay and we have intercept y so circle center of the uh, circle of the sorry center of the circle is 3 comma alpha and the bc that means y intercept that is 2 square root of f square minus c but center is minus g minus f so f becomes minus alpha so minus alpha whole square that is alpha square minus c now taking square both the side to to get cancel out here so alpha square minus c is equals to 7 make that equation number 1 now we all know that the radius equation r is equals to square root of g square plus f square minus c that means r square is equal to g square plus f square minus c so here at the figure radius is equals to alpha so alpha square is equals to g square that means 3 square that means 9 f square alpha square minus c now this alpha square and this alpha square gets cancel out so c is equals to 9 put that value of c and this equation so alpha square becomes 16 so alpha becomes plus or minus 4 now we have the value of center that is 3 comma plus or minus 4 and we have the value of radius also okay what is the value of radius it is plus 4 because radius can't be negative so uh, alpha is the radius and it is plus 4 now we know the formula x minus alpha whole x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square that means x minus 3 whole square plus y plus or minus 4 whole square because the center can be 3 comma 4 or 3 comma minus 4 so I have to apply plus or minus. So see in the equation for y, y plus or minus 4 whole square. So here you can see the plus or minus sign here is equals to r square. That means 4 square that is 16. And just simplify this. So we have this answer that is x square plus y square minus 6x plus or minus 8y plus 9 is equal to 0. So this is a very good sum on the circle. Okay. So this is all about today's video. Uh, still we are going to solve some more problems more and more problems on JW advanced past year JW advanced paper. so keep watching if you have any doubt any query ask me in comment 
and uh, thank you for watching this video and if you like this video don't forget to share it and hit that subscribe button thank you